Hey there, YouTubers. So, I thought I would compare a few motherboards for you all. I just gotten this notification about this one in the middle, and I thought to myself, hey, you know, a lot of people on the channel are going with the H610M. Let's let's steer them away from this, assuming they have the ability to buy from Newegg, and consider this B660M. So I also threw in some other motherboards in here. I have obviously bought a few of these, right? You know on the channel we have this one. We have currently this one. And we've had a couple of other H610Ms that I no longer have. And we've got quite a few Z690s. Now, this is the lowest price Z690M over here. These, This should be the lowest priced B60, B660M. There's potentially an ASRock one out there, the HDV that's, that's close. And then I would say this is just about the lowest price for a H610M. So let's talk about the H610M, what you're gonna find with these across the board. Uh, before we blow up that picture, let's talk RAM speed, if it shows it. it should say on here, max RAM speed of 3200 megahertz. If we ever find it, we might not find it or I blew by it. Yeah, it doesn't, even, there it is right there. Okay, there's your max speed, 3200 megahertz. The M.2 Gen 3 and your graphics card PCIe there is a Gen 4, right? PCIe 4.0. So, benefits of this, cheap price. You currently can use the best graphics cards with it. RAM speed sucks, right? Max is out at 3200 megahertz. So that's kind of a bummer. What you have on the side here for ports isn't the best. Uh, take into account four USBs, one US, excuse me, four USB 2.0s, two USB 3.0s or 3.2, which whatever number those are on this guy, okay? So this is, this is bare bones. This is what you're gonna find pretty much for any of the H610Ms that are out there. Now, what in my opinion would be better for you all that are considering the H610Ms, spend about $10 more and get this. Now, I do not recommend the H610M or this motherboard for anything less than say an i5-12400, right? Uh, 12500, yeah, fine, 12600, but definitely not good for the 12600K in the long run. Uh, the wasted performance for the fact that you spent more on that CPU. The i7, 12700, i9, I've, I've put all of those in this motherboard, and this is not an ideal motherboard for those. But looking at this B660M, uh, just like the H610M, there are no heat sinks around the VRM, right? This one has four RAM slots, good up to 4600 megahertz. So uh, you can, in certain applications, see an improvement in performance there. This guy here, PCIe 4.0, you get an additional uh, PCIe 3.0 by one there. And a lot of the other stuff, folks, is really similar. Now, looking at the I.O. shield, what do we lose? We've pretty much got the same crap, but we pick up a USB Type-C. So for somebody like myself, that's actually a big thing. I need that. Um, some of you may not, but that's something that I definitely would want. So for 10 bucks more, the amount of performance that you're getting with this motherboard same quality as the MSI, same quality as the Gigabyte one, better quality than the ASRock one that's out there at that uh, $90 price range. Um, for 100 bucks, you know, plus shipping, this, in my opinion, is a much better choice. Now, grand scheme of things, you know, didn't have a lot going forward over here. Uh, for those of you that already have four sticks of RAM, this might be, a, you know, a nice thing for you, right? And 
The only other thing was the M.2. There's only one on here, just like the other motherboard. Uh, however, I think this is a Gen 4. Let me just verify that. If this thing even says it. Yeah, there you go. PCI 4.0. So Gen 4. So that's that could be a big thing for some of you. Not really, uh, in my opinion, to be a big deal. Now, if we went up $10, $20, are we getting anything better with the Gigabyte motherboard? Which, I keep saying one day I'll get this on the channel. I have yet to. We got a heat sink here. Uh, you know, maybe slightly better cooling. Same deal with the RAM. Very similar, right? Over here, we have two more USB 3.2s. We have the USB Type C Charlie. This may be Ethernet 2.5 since it's red. Yeah, there you go. So if that matters to you, you might want to spend another $10, right? For me, that one doesn't matter. I don't know whenever I'd see that kind of, or need that kind of speed. Now, this motherboard we did just pick up recently, ASRock B660M Pro RS. And though it's ASRock, this thing has a lot of things over the other ones, in my opinion. You have dual M.2s, one's a Gen 4, one's a Gen 3. Two of the PCIe by 16, so 4.0 and a 3.0, plus this additional little guy here. You could put an M.2 Wi-Fi card in there if you wanted. Four RAM slots, I believe this one's up to uh, 4800 megahertz. Dual heat sinks. So potentially, you know, this one, I would, I would almost say the i7. Uh, maybe not the i9, but the i7-12700, you know, probably would work out all right in this motherboard. Um, now, until I screw around with it, you know, can I say for sure? No, I can't until I do that. What do we have here? Well, we lose the Type-C Charlie, but we do at least have four of the USB 3.0s. And so if there's anything else I missed, folks, you can see it here. So, you know... For those that need dual graphics cards or need the bigger PCIe expansion slot, this may be the way to go uh, to spend a little bit extra. However, it is ASRock quality. I'm not a big fan of them, even though you'll see I've probably bought 100 motherboards from them at least over the years. And, uh, you know. All right, so if we're really going to jump up, you would jump up to something like this. So what do we have? Well, we don't have PCIe 5.0 here, but we do have four. We do have the uh, another expansion slot full size, PCIe 3.0 there. Some heat sinks, not really impressive. I wouldn't expect on this motherboard. This kind of reminds me of the ITX, Z Z490M ITX that I bought many years ago that you couldn't do a whole lot with a, uh, a good uh, unlocked CPU. It was, it was kind of disappointing. So uh, this is, you know, probably a good motherboard, though, for somebody that's not going to overclock, for somebody that wants to have the i7 or the i9, the locked versions in it. Uh, we do have four RAM slots, probably good up to 4,800 megahertz or more. What else, folks? Um, hyper. So it would appear, folks, two Gen 4 M.2s here. Ethernet, you know, not the real good one there, but does it matter for most of us? Doesn't matter for me. And, you know, I honestly, I would take get this on the channel if uh, I felt like spending 150 bucks today. Now, the negatives with all these, they all have these crappy I.O. shields. Um, I like the ones that are built into it, but you got to spend a little bit more money, folks. But there you go. That is kind of a comparison between all the, uh, the lowest end or some of the lowest end motherboards that you could purchase. A little comparison between them. This is, on the right, the only one that you can overclock with out of these. All right. 
All these are D4 RAM. Um, only the one on the left is, is pretty much really capped at the 3200 megahertz. Otherwise, these guys are all at least 4600 megahertz capable. Price wise, you know, cheapest, less features means cheapest in price. More features, more capability, a little higher in price. And uh, there you go. Hey, thanks for checking out the video. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.